Let's compare two mortgages by calculating the amount of interest that each mortgage requires. So we'll start with the price of a house being $160,000. Now let's say the bank requires a 15% down payment. So the loan amount will be the other 85%. So the loan amount is 85% of $160,000, which is $136,000. So we have these two options, both at 5% interest, one for 15 years and one for 30 years. So we have the 15 year option and a 30 year option. For both of them, the formula for calculating the payment will be exactly the same except for T. On the left side, t will be 15. On the right side, t will be 30. And I'll skip the details of calculating the payment and just tell you that the payment for the 15-year mortgage is $1,075.48 each month. And the 30-year mortgage has a monthly payment of $730.08. So at first, if you're looking at these two mortgages, the 30-year mortgage looks more attractive because the monthly payment is so much lower. So if you can pay that much less each month, it looks like a better option. But the problem is that over time, the 30-year mortgage is gonna require much more interest. So let's think about how much each of them will actually pay. For instance, for the 15-year mortgage, you pay that monthly payment, 15 years, 12 times a year, so you pay a total of $193,586.40. And remember, that's paying off a loan of $136,000. So the difference between the two is the amount of interest that you pay. So you end up paying $57,586.40 in interest under the first plan. For the 30-year mortgage, we can make the same calculation. Take the monthly payment amount times the number of years times the number of months per year. So we need to make the payment 360 times for a total of $262,828.80. Again, that's still paying off that $136,000 loan. So the interest amount is $126,828.80. There's a difference of nearly $70,000 in interest between the 15-year mortgage and the 30-year mortgage. So if all else is equal, a 30-year mortgage, the payments will be lower than for a 15-year mortgage under the same terms, but you'll end up paying much more in interest because that loan is spread out over a longer time. So the loan has more time to accrue interest. So if possible, a 15-year mortgage is a better investment than a 30-year mortgage because the amount of interest that you have to pay is so dramatically less. Because of this though, if you go looking for mortgages, usually the 15-year mortgage will have a higher interest rate because the banks make so much less on interest with a shorter mortgage than they do with a longer mortgage.